What's up, guys? It's been a while since I made one of these videos. Um, I'm not doing good. Uh, guys, I kind of wanted to make this maybe as it could help be therapeutic for myself, <clears throat> help out some other people. Uh, not trying to make it too long. Today's been a really bad day for, for starters. Today, last since last video I made, things have just been really, really bad as far as how I've been feeling in this taper. I'm still stuck at 0.25 right now. Uh, I don't know what my brain was doing or what I was thinking, but I know I'm supposed to drop 10%. And I was thinking I could go from 0.25 to 0.125, which I didn't even realize was half. I wasn't even thinking. So I tried that and it went real bad. So I went back to 0.25. And uh, if anyone has any information on how I get to 90% of 0.25, please let me know. Uh, that's half of a 0 0.5 milligram clonopin. I need to cut it 10%. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what to do. Uh, it's been bad. Today's real bad. I'm I'm feeling very depressed for one thing. Um I just don't know. I've been I've been working out. I'm in shape. I'm eating right, exercising, um trying to stay away from stress. I got off social media. I don't know. It's, it's just real bad. I feel hopeless. I do. I mean, I love to say we all heal. I'm going to get better. And keep that positive outlook. Which I have to believe I'm going to get better. Or what's the point in even living at this point? Because I can't live like this forever. I just can't. But it's hard to stay positive right now for me. I'm very depressed. And I can't control it. I can't control any of my thoughts. I can't control the anxiety that comes. I can't control the suicidal thoughts I have right now. And, and I don't know. I feel so alone. Because like my family understands what's going on. Well my wife does. My mom does. So that's it. And, and I have friends that do. But I still feel alone. Because they don't still don't fully understand. It's like I don't know. My wife just bought a house. And I feel like a bum even moving into a new home. When I can't work, it, it makes my, I'm, I'm sick that I can't work right now. I hate it. And I try to find things that I think maybe I could do, but there's nothing. There's nothing I could think of that I could commit to because I don't know when I'm going to sleep. I don't know how I'm going to feel at any given moment. I don't know if that feeling is going to change at any given moment. I don't know. I wish I could just go get drunk and take a bunch of drugs and forget about my problems. Obviously, I'm not going to do that, but it's hard not to think that way sometimes, especially right now. It's just real bad for me right now. I've been uh, having full-blown attack while I'm trying to sleep, waking up in full-blown attacks, having constant anxiety and depression and, and suicidal thoughts throughout the day. Blurry vision, almost hallucinations, just feeling like I'm in a bad trip world almost all the time. And that's on point two five. Who knows what it's going to be like once I get lower and once I get off. I don't know. I don't know. This isn't an easy transition at all. I'm, I'm eating as healthy as I possibly can right now. I'm watching what I eat. Yeah. Some days I take supplements, some days I don't because I don't know if they're doing anything. Uh, they're not making me worse because I've tried with and without. I just don't know. I don't really feel a difference. And I don't even know if what I'm saying makes that much sense if I'm just rambling on. But I don't know what to do. Like I don't know what to do with myself right now. It's 11 o'clock. Tuesday night. It's uh, March 2018. It's March 15th, 2018. I don't know. I hate to say stuff like this. And who knows if I even mean it. But I feel like if I still lived by myself in my apartment. Before I met my wife and got married. And 
I live for them now. I think I would just kill myself. I do. I think I would just end it because of how I feel right now and how long this has been going on. This has been going on for years, like years and years and years. And I know I've only known what it is. Uh, you know, I thought I had bad mental illness for years and I just couldn't work. And so I got my social security check and took the medicine. I, 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 it's only been five years since I know that the benzos are what's doing it to me. And, um, I don't know. I thought I'd be off them by now. I do. It took me three years to taper from three milligrams. I'm sure most of you know that. But I was off. I was off for for like eight months and had to get back on. I just, I don't know what's, what I'm gonna do if that happens again too. Like if I get off and it's so bad to where like, it's either kill myself or take the pill or go in the hospital and they'll just give me pills. I don't know. I'm just, I'm always looking for stories of hope. I'm looking for people who have healed. I know those stories are out there it's just hard to find hope right now. This is just a bad day. I've been having days like this often since the last time I made a video. I don't remember the date it was that I even made the video. Like, I don't know. I do stuff that's just irrational. Like, I was growing my hair back, but then I shaved my head because I felt like my hair somehow was poisoning my brain. Yeah, that's real shit. That's something I really was thinking. So I shaved my head again. Because I felt like I felt better whenever my head was bald. And these are the kind of things that happen to you when you go through this. It's just crazy. And I see certain people who just heal, who just stop taking it, or people who see teed and feel better after not that long. And I just don't know what to do. I don't know if I should try like getting on gabapentin or or something else. I don't know. I just. I don't know. It's it's almost. It's May. It's middle of May. We're supposed to move into this place. In the end of July. I think. It's just If I'm not working by then. And able to contribute. I only get $240 a month. From SSD. Because SSI took the rest of my money. Because I got married. And I hate that shit. I don't even want to be on it. But it's impossible for me to work right now. And I can't stress that enough. And how much it makes me feel like a bum. How much it makes me feel like not a man to not be able to work. It's such a simple thing, I feel like. It's like it messes up my faith. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm still trusting in God. I still pray. It's like... The simplest thing, just to be free from this, just so I can work and give my time and, and my earnings to my family and to help other people in need. That's all I care about in life. And I know so many grimy people, garbage pieces of shit people who just get over in life and don't care about nobody but themselves and everything goes right for them. It's just so hard for me to understand how the world works that way, at least in my experience and from what I see throughout my life. 38 years old, man. I'll be 39. How many years have been robbed from me? I guess this is just turning into a rant. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just I, I'm sick of this. I really am sick of it. I don't know how I can deal with it getting worse. That's another part. Like, I feel like once I'm off, it's going to get worse as far as the attacks and stuff. And it don't matter. Like, I could be having a normal day. It's not, people just don't get, like, my psychiatrist don't understand anything. My therapist gets it, but my psychiatrist don't. It's in the same building. My therapist understands the benzo withdrawal syndrome. But the doctor, the one that prescribes medicine, she don't get it. Like... It's, it's unbelievable. I know that there's nothing wrong with me. I know I don't have a mental illness. I totally figured out what was wrong with me. I don't remember if I explained it or not. But I know when I was younger and I started having panic attacks. It was because of alcohol and drugs. And I stopped drinking completely and doing anything for two years. And I was better. No panic whatsoever. 
started drinking again. So I started having panic attacks again. And obviously I didn't connect all that back then. I was like 21 years old. So then I got put on benzos and I've never been the same. Things have never been, be never been the same again. I was even completely functional for years when I first got on them. Still working as a waiter full time. Until I started having attacks so bad at work, they had to fire me over and over. And then I was seeing mental health people and they said, you got to get on social security. So I had to meet with them. They told me I couldn't work. They went through a million jobs. I don't know. I even worked construction off and on when I felt better back then. And it's, it's been so long since I could tell you what it's like to even remotely feel normal. I don't get it. And I know physically I'm alright. Even like physical problems I have with back issues and, and pains. I know it's all from this. I know it is. And I don't know what to do right now. I don't. Just pray for me. I'm not going to kill myself. Nothing like that. I have too much to live for. Too many other people to live for right now. Other than myself. But I don't know. I don't know. There's not a ton more I want to say. It's just this is really hard. We, I got to keep moving. I got to keep pushing. I got to keep exercising every day. I got to keep eating right every day. And I got to figure out how I'm going to do this next cut. And how I'm going to get through it. I just, I appreciate people's comments. Please, uh talk to me, um, give me hope, tell me things that have worked for you guys, tell me about your stories of healing, tell me that I'm not permanently brain damaged and fucked for life, because I don't, I don't know, there's times where it's impossible for me to not go there and think that that's the case for me, but I don't know guys, I don't got much else to say right now. I just, I was laying there, I didn't know what to do with myself, I'm so depressed right now, and I'm so confused that it's, I can't get into anything right now, like, usually reading helps me, uh, reading graphic novels, reading books, watching television series, movies, playing video games, those things usually help, but right now, like, it's so bad that I have no desire to be able to, to get into anything, any of those things that help. I have no desire for any of them. I just I feel like burying my head in the sand, and that don't help. <coughs> Nothing helps. I'll talk to you guys soon, and hopefully the next time I see you, I'll be doing a lot better than I am now. Peace, love, and blessings to everyone.